BYU basketball signee and the newest member of Mark Pope's team, Jake Walleen, joining us on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline right now as we wrap up this show. Jake, welcome officially to BYU Sports Nation and BYU basketball. Appreciate it, guys. It's good to be here, and uh, I'm super excited. Yesterday was a fun day for me and the family, and I'm glad it's, it's all official now. So, officially Cougar. All right, Jake, your sister Mallory played volleyball at BYU. Your brother-in-law, Harvey Longy, played football at BYU. Your other brother-in-law, Colby Pearson, who's married to Mallory, played football at BYU. How much pressure did they put on you to pick BYU? Um, they didn't put much pressure on me. Um, they all they all knew up or – I would make the right decision for me and myself and but they they all definitely would mention here and there it'd be fun to have me here down in Provo and play right in front of them and their kids and so not a whole lot of pressure but um they're they're definitely excited whenever I did make this this decision so Jake did your dad play football at BYU did I read that correctly yeah yeah he did back in the later 80s gotcha and uh so did you grow up Cougar um, yeah, I would say so. I grew up in Texas, so I was a little bit distant from it. But uh, we would go to the football games like against TCU and then some other games down south whenever we had the opportunity. And then um, we'd come up here every once in a while for uh, vacation or visits. And so I was kind of around it. But uh, yeah, I would say so. And then when did you uh, move to Provo and go to Timpio? Start going to Timpio? Yeah, I moved here in eighth grade, right before high school. Gotcha. Jake, why did you ultimately pick BYU over all yeah. of the other options? And there were plenty. Um, like I mean, like I just said, it kind of, it kind of was a dream school for me growing up. But then, as recruiting went on, I did realize I have some other options that wouldn't be so bad, and uh, and a whole lot of other coaching staffs that, you know, these guys are all great. But uh, when it came down to it, Coach Pope really kind of sealed the deal and brought me in. Uh, he brought that that blue blood out of me and um i couldn't i couldn't just say no and then just to play right here in provo in front of all my family and nieces and nephews it's uh i couldn't i couldn't turn down that opportunity so and we're looking forward in uh 28 years uh when you get to byu jake uh you're gonna go <laughs> on a mission and then you'll be here for 23 24 so you're gonna play your senior year at tiff yep. and then go on a mission so we're excited it's just gonna be a sec right uh it's oh, gonna it be is, a yeah it is. He, Coach Pope told. I always say all the time, like that's three years. That's a long time, and he's he's always he always says. I mean, it's it's going to be here quicker than you think, and yep. so I've kind of kept that in mind. But they're 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 always excited to get me on the court whenever we talk about that. What is it like being recruited by Mark Pope with his engagement and his dynamic personality and all that energy? Yeah, yeah. It was it was different from a lot of the other recruiting. Uh, uh, experiences I've had. He, he definitely had a lot of, a lot of fire and energy into his, on, on his calls. And, um, he'd FaceTime me the first couple of times and he'd, uh, so I kind of had to, you know, get ready for it. Like it's, but, uh, he, he's, uh, he's a super energetic guy and it's hard to, it's hard to not be a part of that when you're talking to him, you kind of, he brings out your energy as well. And that's where we both connected. And, um, he, he really emphasizes, um, you know, they do their two a day things right now. Uh, it's, it's the hardest thing you'll ever do, but he says it's the best thing you'll ever do. And it'll make you a great man and, uh, and a different person. So, um, ultimately that's, that's one of the bigger things that I drew from him early on. Yeah. I just realized that the good news about you not playing here for three years is there definitely won't be a pandemic, Jake. It's going to be all right. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, we'll be back to normal. That's a, yeah, that's a good thing for me is, I can kind of get out and uh, and get away from the. I mean, not get away from it, but uh, have something else to do during the pandemic while it kind of runs off. And then um, while I get back, should, things should be back to normal, and uh, we can get we can get back to work. So, did he ever say? Because he likes to say this, Jake Toulson. This, you're like, did he ever say this, Jake Walleen? Yeah, I've I've heard him say that. I've heard <laughs> him, he says he says full names. It's funny. He, it's a. Uh, it's a cool deal, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he's had that before. How would you describe your game to someone who has never seen you play basketball before? All right. Um, well, first of all, 
he or Coach Popes told me he wants me to play a one through three, maybe four at times. And that's that's kind of a big deal to me because I've worked as I've grown over the years and developed. I've worked on being a guard because I knew at the next level with my size, I'd that'd be a big, a big thing for me. And um, so some people may see me and say, oh, he's probably a big. And then but in high school, for some cases, I am because I'm the biggest guy on my team. But in, when college comes, I'll be I'll be playing guard for Coach Pope. And uh, but um, as far as skills and stuff go, I can get to the rim. Um, I can score all three levels. I can shoot as my highlight uh, film can show. But uh, so, and then ultimately, my my biggest my biggest thing for is for me is uh, I can defend like no other. For my size, my hips are really loose. So my freshman year, that's gonna be my biggest thing if I want to get on the court. Is I'll have to go in there and guard and use that skill. So um, yeah, I'd say those couple things, and then as I continue to get stronger, I'll have I'll it'll some things will come easier for me. Hey, a man with a plan. I can dig it. Jake, great to meet you. Great to speak yeah. with you on BYU Sports Nation. We'll look forward to seeing you in the future. Okay, I appreciate it, guys. Go Cougs. You got it. Jake Wallin on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show how.